so it's about 9 30 feeder went off and about five minutes later i could hear what was probably that big hog i was looking for come up right behind me and unfortunately that's the direction my wind was blowing i really wasn't expecting him to come out of that trail um so he hit the brakes pretty quickly and never ended up seeing him and then about 10 minutes after legal shooting light i heard a doe not too far off blow um twice it must have caught my scent walking in or something so i'm gonna grab my bow and just kind of walk down our trail here uh, i've got a couple more cameras along the trail that i just want to grab cards of so I can kind of game plan what my next move is. All right guys, it's about 5.30. I'm going out to a different spot this morning. Um, I've checked the wind a little bit. I think I'll be in a better spot for uh, my wind than I was yesterday morning. Unfortunately, at this tripod, I don't really have a good camera set up. So I'll see if I can set up my GoPro or something, but I won't be able to really get great footage if I end up shooting something. But I've seen a good amount of hog activity, some does over at this feeder um and a lot of bucks at night as well so let's hope something shows up for me All right, good morning guys. It's about 4.15. Let me get a little bit of spark, some caffeine in me here. I've got some zucchini bread that my mom made for breakfast. I think uh, I'm gonna go out and take a few shots. We got some rain that came in last night. I'm gonna be hunting out in Huntsville again this morning. Uh, it's a new moon, we had some rain come in. It should stop right around 6, 7 a.m right before legal shooting light. So I expect things to be up and moving pretty much early in the morning, getting some food. Everything I've looked at has pretty much said, this is a great, great morning to get out there. And I've seen quite a bit of activity over uh, a scrape that I have a cell camera on, but with it being a new moon and the rain and nothing getting any food, um, I think I'm gonna head over to a spot where I think I'll catch them going from bedding to getting some food in the morning. Still bitter my donut shop isn't open this early. All right, so the rain finally died down. It's about 6.40. I've got about mm, 20 minutes or so till legal shooting light. I ended up going to one of the same spots I was at last time I was hunting out here where I saw a doe come by. Just never got a chance at her. Um, I think I'm close to one of their food sources, so with the rain and the cold front coming in, I'm hoping they'll be moving towards the food in the morning. So I'll turn you on if uh, we get any excitement.
Alright guys, I just got back. It's about 3, 4 o'clock. Um, unfortunately, didn't see anything other than that little four point. And honestly, he was pretty close to being a legal spike out there. If he'd not walked right under me, I probably wouldn't even noticed. Uh, I probably would have thought he was a legal spike. Um, so I'm kind of glad he walked under me and I noticed that he was uh, a small four point and I didn't end up taking a shot. So this four point came over my right shoulder and I couldn't, you know, I didn't really have time to turn around. I thought if I turned around in the saddle and the platform that he'd hear me and spook. So I just waited for him to come out in front. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to kind of turn around quietly or if y'all just wait for him to come into your shooting path, uh, I'm open to hearing those suggestions in the comments below. I'm still working on the best comfort setting really on the saddle. You know, I've got all that equipment with the cameras and all that stuff up in the tree too. So I'm working on kind of what's the best situation. So, you know, the more I get out there, the more I'm going to perfect that. So I plan on going out to some public land here in Texas, not too far away on uh, next Thursday. And then Friday, I'm heading back out to my uncle's in the morning again and getting another hunt in. So hopefully I'll start getting a little bit more action and we'll get a deer on the ground. As always, thanks for tuning in, guys.